Hello YouTube again, this is Fire of Doom, and today I'm going to talk about Chris's father, Bob Chandler, giving him, uh, or about well, Chris actually finding his father, uh, Death Note, I would say, uh, Last Will, and he has some pretty interesting stuff, Bob Chandler, to say to Chris, you know, when he passed away, and... You know, I was listening, watching the video about two weeks ago, and you know, his father, um, he sounded like a very good man, you know, and um, that letter was kind of inspirational, you know, like, never to give up, you know, if you're having a problem, you know, there, there's always more than one way to a mountain, you know, to climb up, and if you, uh, get stuck at the side of mountain regroup and going our way, you know, on that very inspirational and he has some pretty interesting stuff uh, to say else, you know, about um, his uh, Bob Ch Bob's Chandler father's, uh, like, I believe it was his uh, razor that he, uh, you know, foolishly like he said that uh, himself fool foolishly wrote trying to use it as a screwdriver and how he felt the shame of breaking it curiously and you know it was like it was really nice Bob Chandler you know was trying to say to his Chris that um, you know don't take items for granted I guess you know like everything is like every item is failable, you know, kind of like, you know, this PS4 controller, you know, it, it helps me turn on the system, able to use this app, record, you know, don't take things for granted, I guess, use everything, everything as a good purpose, you know, don't let, let it go to waste, but, um, yeah, the next the last thing he said um, was very nice, but uh, it, it kind of made me a little sad and, you know, upset. Uh, Bob Chang was talking about Sonic chewing, you know, how he could be this great person, great hero, uh, find autism, you know, and I, I thought that sounded like a pretty good idea of Sonic chewing what he should do, you know, to help autistic people or, you know, whatever, and Chris just kind of laughed it off, like, he was like, oh, grief, at one point, like, I was like, just so, like, <laughs> that's him, you know, alright, like, you know, like, how unappreciated can you be, or, like, you know, like, how can you say that, you know, it's your father, like, okay, like, he may not know, like, Sonic Chu had, like, a different, you know, objective, uh, objective thing to do, you know, to stop crime or whatever, you know, I don't read Sonic Chu, but I know he kind of does, like, other stuff, but, I mean, you know, like, like, I like Bob's idea more than yours, because, from what I heard, Sonic Chu's pretty sick, <laughs> some pretty nasty stuff happening in that comic gang, eggs for, meant, they were supposedly, uh, meant for kegs or something, um, like there's this one issue where like, I think like, uh, Son Chu and Rosa Chu are like on a day or something, and then they were in a hotel room and, you know, happens there on, they do it, and, you know, <laughs> what you want that in the kicks comic, the kid read that, anyways, uh, also what you made me a little mad was to, uh, like I was saying, you know, uh, Bob was like, oh, don't let anything go to waste, you know, I'm going to give you my, uh, possessions, you know, like, because when I was a kid, I always, I always wish I had a stamp collection, which Bob Schengler finally did have. 
But you know what? Bob told Chris, you know, uh, in his letter to, you know, keep, uh, you know, <clears throat> keep it, like save it, you know. Like it could be available one day, but we all know what happened to that. Chris so dang heartbeat, you know, like he didn't think about it. <laughs> like, sh sad, you know, and Bob was also talking about, like, don't let uh, yourself down, don't let, you know, bar down his mom, don't let his mom down, but things have just gotten more, sir, well, turn to the worst, I mean, look, I mean, if you've seen Chris's mom, like, his mom is going out soon, <laughs> out, out the door soon, into the ground, and Wherever, like heaven, whatever you believe, it's going there. I mean, Chris's mom doesn't have that much more time, probably. Only like maybe like a couple more years, maybe even less. I'm not sure, but it's just really kind of sad. Like, I don't think Chris totally understand what his father is trying to tell him in that letter. I don't think Chris will really ever get what his father told him in that message, like he'll never comprehend it the right way, and yeah, it's just, oh sad, he's not gonna get it, he's not going to get it ever, so, <laughs> if any of my fans, or if I even have any, <laughs> You know, people watch the video, comment on it, just, you know, leave me a message and tell me what you think, I mean, I would like to hear your opinion and stuff, and yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, about the Jessica Saga, I, I am going to try to keep up on that, try to keep you updated on that, guys, and see how it goes, because from what I'm hearing, Jessica, is uh, trolling Chris, uh, kind of just using him. So it's gonna be fun how that turns out. Let's see how that turns out. So <clears throat> again, this is Mike Fire Do. Have a good day.